Hello, so this is a demo of the hand gesture garage door opener that we made for a competition. Uh, as its name implies, it uses hand gestures to open a garage door, but what makes it unique is that uh, you can install this indoors behind a window, uh, which protects it from the elements and from tampering, and also makes installation extremely easy. So the first thing you do is plug it in, and stick behind a window with mounting tape. In this demo, we're using a roughly 4mm thick piece of glass to simulate a window. So the gestures are quite simple. The first thing you do is to wake it up. And now you can input the gestures to open the door. Uh, a swipe is a 1. And a hold in front of the left sensor is a 0. And if the code, uh, the binary code that you enter matches the code in the device, it'll open the garage door. Here the code is 10110, so let's enter that right now. So here's a 1. 1 and 0. And as you can see, uh, it's a correct password and now it's opening the door. Here is a video of the device being used outside with a real garage door. So changing this code to open the door is quite simple. The first thing you do is to open up any Bluetooth Full Energy ter Terminal app and type in the password that you saved inside the sketch before uploading it to the device. There's more instructions how to do this in the uh, project page, but here the password is very secure password. So let's type that in right now. Now it prompts us to enter a new door code, so let's change it to 101. Uh, one, oops, oh, 01. And now it's set to 101, so let's try that right now. So let's wake it up. And enter in 1, O, oh, and 1. And as, I, as you can see, it's the correct password, and it's now opening the door. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It uses two pyroelectric sensors to detect the hand gestures, uh, as you can see here. And if the hand gestures are correct, it will trigger this garage door remote to open the garage door uh, by imitating a button press with this MOSFET. It also has a Bluetooth module that allows you to change the door code with your phone. And on the back is a LCD uh, screen that gives you feedback. So that's pretty much it, uh, and thank you for watching.